What's going on guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time, like and subscribe to my channel. So today I want to be talking about a topic that I've been wanting to talk to, discuss for a long time called Are Foreigners Trying to Buy Love? Well, first of all, to those that are experienced traveling and especially like in the travel community, uh, we definitely seen it. Uh, I've seen it in many countries, especially Dominican Republic. I've seen it in Colombia. Um, in many countries but I think that they the problem that we have as uh, with some of the travel community is that I feel like sometimes we need to do we try to do our best to police guys when they come to like a new country but some guys just don't want to hear it and you also have to realize that this is like sometimes a, a guy's first time being with a beautiful woman especially you're coming from the states like dating in America is very very difficult and it's very expensive like a hundred dollars two hundred dollars for a date like it's very expensive compared to Latin America or other countries around the world so I could understand a guy spending some money and be like oh you know like fifty dollars isn't much or even a hundred dollars isn't much compared to the states so I kind of understand that but to me yes I think a lot of foreigners are buying love I've seen it especially in the Dominican Republic um I just think some guys don't know how to watch out for the red flags. Uh, you could go out, get a girl's number, and then within a week she's telling you some stop story that she needs money for for the rent, or she doesn't have no money for food, or you know, I've heard it. I've heard them all. I've heard all the excuses. Or their stove broke, or somebody, you know, they need like money for medicine or whatever, you know. But I think some of these guys, you know, fall for that trap. Like that's the thing. Like when you meet. When you start meeting local friends, especially some of the females, and they start telling you how the game works, like, you start to realize how many guys are doing it. Like, I recently was in Dominican Republic, and I went out with this one girl, and she was telling me how her friend was chapeando some American, and he was giving her, like, a certain amount of money, a few hundred dollars per month, and, like, every time she, he would come to the, the island, she would make an excuse not to go see him. And I thought, to me, that's crazy, you know, that that's crazy. Like, guys are literally giving these girls money that they've never even seen. And I'm just like, <sighs> I mean, I've had a girls test me out, like, you know, from all national letters, but I, I rarely get, I rarely get a Colombian or even like, I think I've only had like one Brazilian girl that's ever asked me for money, but I think I've had maybe like a few Colombian, but it's mostly been like the Dominican women that have done it. Like I would say about half the girls that I met in DR have asked me for money. But it's just, to me, it's just like, I don't understand how some of these guys can do that. And I'm not pocket watching, but I think some of the guys that are traveling to these countries are not being honest. Like, they could go to a certain country and be like, oh, the women are like this. But when they go back to the country that they like the most, they're doing the same thing. They're spending a lot of money on these girls. And to me, that's that's just crazy because, uh, I, you know, I try to be honest as, as much as I possibly can on my channel, you know. Without, you know, I would never, like, my channel's a travel channel. It's not about, you know, drama or anything like that. I stay away from that. I don't, that's that's not why I started this channel for. I started it to inspire people to travel. But I will say, you know, I I did meet, like, this this other YouTuber a while back. And he's really big time. He's really known. But when I went out with him, two girls rejected him at the bar. And he threw a temper tantrum. And I had to sit him down. I'm like, bro, just, like, forget about it. Those two girls... You know, they spoke perfect English. I knew they were already educated, like, the way they were speaking. But anyways, he made a video the next day, you know, trash talking the city. I understand the city is not all interesting or whatever. But I was just like, he wasn't being honest. Like, he wasn't being like, oh, two girls rejected me, so I'm going to trash talk the city. So that's why I said, like, you know, some, some of the YouTubers put too much emotion into the videos that they're making. So you have to watch out for that, you know. But I think a lot of them, you know, they put good content out there. But, you know, sometimes when they get mad or something doesn't go their way, they like to, like, throw temper tantrums. So you have to be careful with that as well when you're watching some of these videos. Um, so, you know, like I said, we'll never say any names. But this guy's like, you know, he's very known. And I was really surprised the way he was acting. I, I didn't think he was like that. I mean, he didn't do nothing bad or nothing like that. But he was just, like, you know, upset about it. And I was like, it's not a big deal. Like, who cares, dude? Like, you know, they're... But anyways, he made a video talking trash about the city the next day, and I was like, whatever, man. Or you could see, like, another, you know, you could see other YouTubers that they might be like, oh, you know, like, my channel's about this or whatever. But, like, you look at some of the, the real travel channels and not talking trash about nobody, but, like, some some of the YouTubers that do, like, strict to strictly are about traveling, like, you look at their channels and, like, they don't use female thumbnails and stuff like that. You never see them do that. 
but you'll you could see a guy that does that and he'll be like oh you know my channel's about this but i mean like it's like okay well you know you're saying one thing and then doing something else but i understand you know like people are trying to get like you know views or whatever but uh i think some some of the some of the guys are not really being completely honest because you know saw one guy what did he do he, he made like a funny video about you know uh, a certain country about the women in that country but you know you could go back to a certain country and then stay, spend money on a different type of woman and be like oh you know like I'm not like this guy but yet you're still doing the same thing you're still spending a bunch of money and taking a certain girls all to vacation and to me that's crazy like I saw this one girl that I know in Colombia they took her out to like an expensive like resort outside of the country and it was like one of those resorts that was like $200 a night and like and to me, I thought it was crazy. This guy's spending all this money on this girl. And as soon as she came back, you know, she was like, you know, going out with like, I guarantee with other guys as well. And so like, you know, to me, I thought it was like, I mean, like I said, I'm not pocket watching, but I just think you really got to, you really have to like, I think guys really need to like take their time to get to know a person and look for the warning signs. Like if you meet a girl within the first week and she's asking you for money, you should probably just let that girl go, you know? I understand like one of the things that's annoying being an American, you know, whatever, is that some people might think you're rich and so they might try you. You're gonna get tried a lot. So let me be honest. If you go on enough dates, you're gonna you're gonna get tried no matter which country you go to. You're gonna hear some sob story, like, oh I need this. And sometimes these girls have boyfriends. That's what I'm saying, like that's that's what I'm telling you guys, like whether it's DR or Colombia or you know, a Venezuelan girl, or whatever, you know, some of these girls have boyfriends. I've I've seen it happen. I've had like one girl I've, from every nationality, damn near ask me for like money, and I'm just like, I know you have a boy. Oh no, I don't have a boyfriend, really, dude. I was like, really, and it's like I've caught in some of these girls as well, and they get pissed off and shit. I don't, I don't care, you know. Like I'm, like I said, I'm not about drama or nothing like that. But you're not gonna fool me, you know. Like I know how the game works, like, and so a lot of these girls, like, they get used to meeting, you know, some gringos that give them money, like, oh, she's beautiful, you know. Like I never had a girl like this, and these girls know this. They know like you're out of you're out of shape. You're you know you're a certain age. They know you're not getting those type of girls back home or not. You wouldn't be traveling. You'll be staying where you're at. And so these girls take advantage of that. You know it's like how how would you say when a shark smells blood in the water and like once these girls taste that blood, man, like they're gonna come after you, those sharks, man. And so that's why you gotta w watch out for the warning signs, man. You go out with a girl and she's asking you for money the first week, you should just throw it away, man. You don't need that kind of shit in your life. But trust me when I tell you that. My experience from meeting women that are chaparriodas or whatever, or even from different countries, not just like DR, they're usually women that are not humble. They're women that are just interested in themselves. They're not kind, they're not good people. They're not gonna show you around. They don't give a shit. And so they don't care about you. And so why are you gonna spend that money on these girls that don't care about you? So that's why I'm telling like all the girls that I met that have been choppies have nasty attitudes. They're they don't care about anybody but themselves. You know they're only out to get for theirs for theirs only. And so that's the thing that if you meet somebody that's like that while dating or whatever, you need to just throw it away. You don't need that in your life. So that's that's my experience from dating some some of these girls in some of these countries. Uh, most of the time I stay away from that. I don't meet those type of girls. Thankfully. I've been able to gain enough experience where I could avoid it, but sometimes I feel like you're eventually gonna get caught. Like, I went to uh, a date one time in DR and the girl was already eating with her friend without even me sitting down and I didn't get there late, I got there on time, but she didn't even tell me she was gonna bring her friend. So I just saw that and I just started laughing. I was like, man, and I also hear some of the stories that some of my subscribers tell me about, you know, one guy was telling me how like, he caught the girl at the restaurant like ordering all this food or whatever and he like took off kudos to you man you did the right thing i should have done the same thing too but i just like oh man but you know <laughs> i had another girl that got a wine bottle and i thought oh, i was gonna be like 40 or 50 bucks it came out to like one something i was just like oh man i've had a girls ask me for money for the most ridiculous things like i had one girl ask me money for a plane ticket she and another one asked me 200 dollars because she wanted to get a visa to come to the states even though she did, wasn't working or nothing i have girls tell me their stove broke somebody's in uh they need medicine or something like that or you know they need food or and some stupid excuse that you know I've heard it all you know and so I'm just like whatever but these girls they eventually catch a guy in the net like believe it or not like one girl I went out with I knew she was a choppy but I went out with her anyways and like I guess when she figured out that I wasn't gonna be giving her money she like went with somebody else and like this girl got you know in a relationship with an older man like double her age so and guess what 
she ended up, you know, marrying the guy. And, you know, kudos to that guy. But, like, I don't think that guy did his research. I don't think that guy dated her long enough to realize the kind of girl that she is. Because she asked me for money. I think two or three hundred dollars. And I was like, nah, I'm good. But this guy obviously like, probably gave you that money. He's like, oh, you know, just two or three hundred dollars. Like, because, you, you know, like, you got to look for the warning signs. Like, if you see a chick that's working a regular job. And she has, like, a brand new iPhone that's, like, $1,000. That's a red flag. Like, how is she able to afford this phone? She's only making $200 a month. Or you see her going out to the clubs a lot and, like, okay. Or she's not even working. That's a red flag, too. Like, why are you not working? You know, what are you doing, you know? I understand sometimes these girls have kids. And dating in a DR can be difficult after a certain age because most of the girls past 21, 22, 23, they already, they already have at least one kid. You don't see it so much in Colombia or even other parts of Latin America. Not, not in the numbers that you see in DR, but it definitely happens. In Brazil, you don't see too many young girls with kids either. Like, it's, it's rare. But you got to just watch out for the warning signs. That's why, to me, I would say the best places where I've dated have been in Brazil. And I've also had friends that have gone there. They say that it's very great. Like... When I was in Brazil, I never spent more than $25 on a date. Like, and not even that. Like, I would just invite the girl to the beach, you know, have a couple of beers, eat something, and then that's it. You know, like, we're just chill, you know. Brazilian women are very relaxed. They like to go out and party at the same time. But to be honest with you, like, they're chill. They'll go to your apartment, relax, eat pizza, and you drink a couple of Coronas, and that's it. But some of these guys are just, like, you know, wilding out and, like, I, you know, taking them to, like, far places. And I'm just, like... You have to realize that if you show a girl, you ask you ask a girl, okay, do you want to come into this place? A girl's going to say yes. She's never going to say no. But do you really know that girl? Do you really know she's interested in you or she's just using you for the money that you have in your pocket? And so that's what I'm saying. Like, it takes time, you know, and I think a lot of these guys are, are buying love. You know, they're throwing money at these girls. And I think it's an American thing. I think we as an Americans, we've gotten accustomed to spending a lot of, a lot of money on the women. In America, the more money a man has, definitely the better type of woman that he's going to have. You're not going to see a dishwasher with a chick that's, you know, like that looks like a model or something like that, like a girl that's very attractive or even a guy that's a cook or works in construction or something. You're not going to see those type of guys with like good, extremely good looking women or even a successful woman that has a career, just like it's levels in America for sure. You usually see professionals with other professionals and she had blue collars with blue collars. That's what I seen living in the States for sure. And depending on which area you're living at too, but it's different in Latin America, you know. You could be like a regular guy and get with a beautiful looking woman, but you also have to be aware there's consequences. If you rush into it and you start spending money on this girl, you start, oh, you know what, let me buy her a cell phone. Oh, you know what, let me buy her, you know, some jewelry. Let me buy her some perfume. And you're like, I've had girls try to test me. They're going to try to test you. And no matter which country you go to, you're going to try. And sometimes, you know, with me, I kind of feel like when it comes to like, DR women like if they usually like test you they'll stop talking to you and then with other girls usually they'll shoot their shot like let's see what I could get and you tell them like nah I'm good they usually that they'll apologize I think Colombian women are a little bit more nicer about it they'll be like oh I'm sorry I just you know I really needed the money or whatever you know and they'll still be cool with you or whatever and they'll never bring it up again but I think DR women are a little bit on another level like those they'll, they'll just like stop talking to you which is cool I mean I don't give a shit like I don't want that kind of person in my life anyways and you shouldn't either but I've also had some Venezuelan girls try to test me as well, but, and, you know, sometimes, you know, some of these girls do have boyfriends, like, you know, recently, you know, I had one girl ask me for money, and I was just like, I just saw a picture of her boyfriend, like, recently, and I was just like, what? But it's just crazy, like, you know, like, some girls don't even try to hide it nowadays, like, they'll shoot their shot anyways, they don't care, and so to me, it's like, it's like, you're just like, bro, I just saw a picture of your dude, and now you're asking me for a certain amount of money, so I'm just like, nah, I'm good, like, you know, I just tell them respectfully, nah, I'm good. And shit, I'm not that type of guy. I'm sorry. Like, I've had girls ask me for money that I never even met. I meet them on Tinder or whatever. Like, hey, you know, like this and this and this. I need, like, you know, can you give me this? I'm like, nah, I'm good. And shit, I keep it respectfully. I'm just like, no. But it's one of the things that these men need to start doing when you go over there, you know. Be careful what kind of girls you go out with. Also, if you go on a date, like, don't let her bring the friend. Because I understand I've had some girls tell me, oh, I'm scared. You know, like, I've, I've never, you know, I'm not used to going out with just uh, somebody like that. But, you know. To me, it's just like I don't do the double dates things because it's just like I'm trying to get to know you and not your friend, you know, so why you're bringing your friend. So, yeah, that's a big no for me. And that's another thing that that men, if you're like traveling and the girl wants to bring a friend, just say no. Be like, nah, I'm good. I'm trying to get to know you. That's a red flag because if the girl's really interested in you, she's not going to be doing that shit. She's like, oh, you know, my friend wants to or my friends want to come. Like, I mean, in Colombia is a little bit different. Groups of friends do go out. 
I understand, but if you're dating the girl seriously or you're trying to get to know the girl in the first two or three dates, you shouldn't be bringing the friends around. So, yeah, no. But it's different, I guess, if you've known the girl for like a while. And so, if you've known her for a few months or even two months or three months and she wants to bring uh, friends or whatever or to go out or something, you know, have a couple of beers, that's okay. You know, because that is part of the culture in Colombia, especially Medellin. Like, you know, groups of friends do hang out. But, you know, if you're dating the girl, like, no, just just be able to just got to learn how to say no sometimes, you know, that's that's a red flag. If she wants to bring a friend if she's asking you for money, if, you know, another thing, too, is like some of these girls, like they give like they leave like, you know, pieces of crumb of hints towards like the kind of person that they are. Like if you see the girl at a nice hotel, eating a fancy dinner at a nice uh, uh, restaurant, nice uh, hotel with a swimming pool or at the beach or a vacation, and you only see those certain things in those pictures and you don't see nobody else around, who's taking that picture? Because Latinas, when they go out in groups, they take pictures of, of themselves and their friends. And when they're with their family, they take pictures of their family members as well. So that's another thing that you have to look into. So me, I've seen that. I've seen the girl, oh, look. And you ask the girl, like, oh, who are you with? Oh, I'm with, like, you know, a friend. Like, really? I was like, you're, like, come on, man. Like, who are you lying to, man? Like, you don't even have a job and you're staying at an expensive hotel or you're doing a vacation. Like, you know, how are you paying for this stuff and you don't have money? So it's just one of those things that's it's common sense, guys. Like, you, you got to look at those hints. Like, nice hotel, swimming pool, you know, beach, you know, fancy dinners and stuff like that these girls they can't they can't help but show off these girls and they don't even hide it anymore so like you're looking at these girls stories and you're just like some some dude is paying for it so that's what i'm saying like if you go out with a girl that's doing that like do you really think you could trust that girl like she's obviously hiding something so like if she's on honest person hard-working person she's not gonna hide that shit you know that's a that's the thing that these guys need to learn how to like look for uh, me, I look at everything and I look at those and that's another red flag. You know, the asking for money is a red flag. Can I bring my friend to the date? That's a red flag. Oh, the pictures of like nice things or expensive cell phones when they don't even have a job. That's a red flag. Or, you know, they have all these dresses with heels on. And I'm just like, well, how are you able to afford that? You know, you're not even you're barely making enough money to pay your rent and your food or you have a kid like you have expenses like. So you got to look at those things. You know, some of these girls like they might ask like five guys for money in one month. And maybe two guys say yes. One guy gives her a hundred, another guy gives her three hundred. She's done for the month, and she, so a lot of these girls don't even have to work anymore. They could have two guys that are giving them what they would make. It's and one month of work, like that. Just say the average worker's making like two fifty in Colombia or DR or whatever, and one guy gives her one fifty, another guy gives her a hundred. That's it. She already made her month's salary and she didn't have to do shit. She just sits back and relaxes and just doesn't and goes out with other guys and gets free meals. Like even recently when I was over here and uh, when I'm traveling over here, uh, one of the girls that was, uh, I forget which part of the world. I think she was in Asia or something like that. She was saying that she, she didn't have that much money and she was going out with guys on Tinder. And she was like, yeah, I was getting free meals. And then I would just go say hi, thank you, and bye. Like, this girl admitted to what she was doing. You know, I think she was, uh, I believe she was uh, Russian or something like that. But that's what she was saying. It's like, yeah, I was getting, I was, uh, I was getting free meals. And guys were paying for everything because I didn't have enough money. And I would just go home. And I was just like, like, these girls know how to hustle, too. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, you gotta, you gotta be careful with that, you know? To me, I don't think even doing meals is worth it at this day of age. Like, I think if you really want to get to know a girl, man, just take her out, get a couple of beers, keep it simple, and do it like that. You're trying to get to know the girl anyways, and then you like her or whatever, or she has good vibes, then you could do the meal thing, you know? Like I said, I'm not pocket watching. Like, if you want to spend a $1,000 on the meal on a girl, I don't care, you know? But I'm trying to give you the best advice that I know. Just go and have a couple of beers with the girl or whatever and try to get to know her. Do something simple. Go to the movies, you know, whatever. Like, or go walk around in the mall or something. You could keep it simple. You don't have to spend all this money to try to impress or even try to get to know a girl. You could keep it simple. Like, I feel like some of these girls are getting more smarter and smarter by the day. And they're getting, like, free meals for some of these guys. You know what? Let me go out with this gringo. Let me, like, you know, I'll have a good time. He'll get a hookah. He'll get a bottle. And then by the end of the night, like, I'll leave. This happens. Like, I went out with a girl on a date with a girl in DR and like I didn't spend no more than $10 on her because I only got her like two beers but she went to I went outside to get something to eat and she's like oh I'm gonna go talk to my friend in the car 
she went inside the car and she took off and then i was like did you leave and she's like oh i'll be back and then she made some excuse that her phone broke or something but i just like erased her number i was like yeah no that's exactly why you don't do that expensive dinner shit because look at what this girl did like what she did was so disrespectful boom she took off and she realized that i wasn't a sucker like i wasn't gonna be like busting bottles and all that shit i was like look man just get two beers try to get to know you she wasn't even talking and even when i did talk to her like she was telling me she had friends that were choppies and to me like a, a good woman that works hard that you know that has her stuff together that you know that's uh a good person or whatever doesn't really hang around that type of people to me like i said chaparillos no matter which country they come from are usually trash like it doesn't matter if it's dr or a certain other country you know i met girls in dr that are choppies they're bad venezuelan girls that are that have been choppy they're just like bad uh maybe one or two in Colombia that were bad one in Brazil that was like really horrible like some of the girls that I met that are usually like that about asking you for money are really bad people like in the sense of like many they don't do like harmful things but they'll just do like you know they get what they want from the person and then when it's like the person's not valuable to them they just throw them in the trash so yes I think foreigners are trying to buy love by trying to impress these girls buying them all these things and I'm just like why like why is it necessary to buy a girl a cell phone that you just knew through two or three months ago you're buying a thousand dollar cell phone or a three hundred dollar cell phone for a girl and to me it's not worth it you know like i have i knew one guy that's you know paying this girl's rent and like you know taking care of her financially and i saw her the other day on tinder and i started laughing i didn't say nothing because i don't get involved in people's relationship and not only that but the thing is this guy is probably still going to go back with her anyways he's going to get mad for like two or three days and then just going to be like it's going to be on me like you know oh you know who was it oh it was ulysses and so it's gonna fall down upon me. So I did, and I saw another guy too in Colombia. He was like, "Oh, this girl's good and everything." I'm like, "Okay." And the girl was older. She wasn't a young girl. She was like in her 40s. And when I was behind her, this girl was texting a guy, writing, "I miss you, Papi." And this dude was just telling telling me that he was gonna take her to Mexico. And I was just like, "Bro," and I didn't say nothing either. I was just like, "Bro, I, I, this is what I, I, a guy that's like just bragged about this girl, how good she is." Is texting a guy within five minutes, I miss you and all this shit. And this guy's going to waste money taking her to Mexico and shit. And and then and this other guy that I knew that I saw his girl on Tinder is like paying her rent and all this. And I'm just like, bro, like reality is like this, bro. You have to realize once you get to a certain age and you look a certain way, bro, like girls might not really be interested in you. Like, you know, looks is not maybe everything, but you have to ask yourself, how old is the girl? How good look, looking is she? Like, do I, do I think that, you know, I would get this type of girl in America, like, if I really didn't have money? And the answer is no, and then you're probably going to get a girl that's just interested in your money. So, that's that's the thing, though. And, I you know, I try to be honest as much as possible with these videos, you know. But, you know, some of these guys, you know, like, you see, like, oh, they might make fun of mongers or whatever, you know. Like, to each their own, you know. Like, that's somebody's lifestyle. I have friends that are like that, you know. But to me... You might see a YouTuber that might make fun of, you know, a certain type or you might be like, oh, you know, my channel's not about this or whatever, but they're doing the same thing. You got to pay attention to all the details. They're taking a girl to a certain country that, you know, they're getting like fancy Airbnbs, you know, and so just like, okay, bro, you're saying you're not a monger or you're saying, you know, this, uh, uh, you know, you're a certain type of person or, you know, you talk, you know, make fun of guys that spend money on girls or send money to girls. But you know what, bro, you're doing the same thing. You're spending money on the girl that really doesn't give a shit about you. And so, so you tell me who's, you know, who's winning, you know. So to me, like, you know, you could, you know, you could spend, you know, hundreds of dollars sending a girl money, you know, through Western Union. And at the end of the day, she might be, she might, she's going to go back to the barrio and sleep with a guy that doesn't even buy her McDonald's. You're going to go sleep, you're going to spend like, you're going to give a girl $500. And then when she goes back home to the barrio, dude doesn't even spend $5 on a Happy Meal for the girl. This is, that's one of the things that, you know, that's what I'm saying, like, our foreigners trying to buy love, and I absolutely think a lot of them are. But I hope this video, you know, was very, you know, educational. I hope you got something from it. Don't forget to like and share the, share the video. And uh, I'm going to try to be posting some more videos right now. I'm over right now traveling. So I hope that you, you guys really get something from this video because, you know, what I spoke was the truth. Like, you know, i just seen a guy just say, this girl's a good girl and then I'm just seeing this girl text the guy like I miss you and stuff like that and I'm just like Shh. and so that's that's the reality of those things that guys need to ask themselves like how good do you really know this girl and it takes time you got to be patient you know 
So hopefully you got something from this video. Don't forget one more time to like, subscribe, and share it if you can. Until next time, guys, take care.